This may be the most important speech I've ever made. I want to provide an update on our ongoing efforts to expose the tremendous voter fraud and irregularities which took place during the ridiculously long November 3rd elections. Trump's phony claims of voter fraud have paved the way for red state legislators hell-bent on passing bills that suppress voting rights. Worse, a more powerful anti-democracy syndicate controlled and funded by corporations, Charles Koch, and his billionaire brigade is ready to take over from Trump. They are smart, well-organized, ruthless, and already have a large cadre of agents. Trump's personality cult is no match for Koch's years of planning and infiltrating critical institutions. And engineering election results is high on their agenda. The nation now has two governments, a representative democracy of, by, and for the people, and Koch's libertarian syndicate that controls virtually all red state legislatures, Utah's included. So wake up, Utahns. You've been taken over by the Koch machine and its lust for power. The goal of the Koch-created Tea Party is shrinking government to a size that fits in a bathtub, then pulling the plug, allowing free enterprise to operate free of government regulation. Koch is well aware that people don't want to give up Social Security, Medicare, and other elements of the safety net all anathema to his libertarian ideology. So voter suppression is necessary to win and retain power for his elite white minority. The Tea Party exposes Koch's power over the GOP. Think tanks like the Cato Institute and the American Enterprise Institute are staffed with trained ideologues. The American Legislative Exchange Council also started by Koch, now has many Fortune 500 companies that provide state legislatures with pre-written bills that speed up passage of special interest legislation. And with lobbyists from ALEC strategically placing payola for critical legislators, the success rate is quite remarkable. Even conservatives are upset the GOP legislators almost never pass bill the majority wants. A universal background check for all gun sales is favored by 80 percent of Republicans. But the NRA, also a member of ALEC, and the Cato Institute have succeeded in halting this common sense regulation. Toxic air is a critical issue for Koch personally. Oil is his source of wealth and environmental regulations are the core of his anti-regulation obsession those who die from respiratory problems are of no concern. Koch's red states consistently underfund public education, and vouchers are the first step toward total privatization of public education. This is classic Koch strategy. Demolish first, then replace with a fascist libertarian solution that no one wants except the power elites. America's profit-driven health care system costs twice that of any advanced nation and its overall performance is not even in the top ten. And, according to The Economist, the U.S. ranks 23rd among democratic nations for true democracy. Thanks to the Republican Party, the NRA, Donald Trump, and the Koch syndicate, the nation is failing its people. A fascist libertarianism controlled by a dictatorship benefits only the rich and powerful elite. Yet that top 1% hate to share their wealth through higher taxes. Trump stirred up white supremacists who fear minority empowerment, while the Koch Brigade uses that fear as an excuse to micromanage elections by tightening voter qualifications voter suppression and gerrymandering voting districts are the kiss of death for a democracy. Americans want free and honest elections in which their vote actually counts. Any effort to suppress qualified voters is a seditious act. The Republican Party, 
Trump toadies, and Koch's fascist libertarianism must be recognized as enemies of democracy. God help us, we have never seen this level of blatant corruption before. Every bill that rejects qualified voters should be overturned. The 2022 election will be momentous. The survival of our democracy is at stake. White supremacists controlling the election is even more damaging than the white supremacist attack on the Capitol on January 6th. If you aren't worried, you should be. It all boils down to this. Will every citizen be allowed to vote, or will fascism win the day? The irony, of course, is that blacks, Hispanics, Asians, and other minorities, so often marginalized, could well be the voters that save American democracy.